Dan Aker, Operations Manager, Ontario Regiment Museum. We've been talking about M113s. We're going to take a little sidestep and we're going to go to the uh, 432. The 432 is, or the FV 432, is actually the British equivalent of the M113. Uh, as you can see, it is different in the way it looks. Um, more importantly, you can see the driver is on the right side, or as we in North America would say, the wrong side. Uh, crew commander immediately behind them, um, and the cargo hatch is open differently. Uh, most importantly uh, is the back of the vehicle. Now, this is a vehicle that has steel armor as opposed to the uh, aluminum uh, armor that was in the M113 families. Uh, it was uh, amphibious as well, uh, albeit I haven't heard great things about it. Um, and uh, it was capable, uh, it did have another variant which was called the 438, which actually had a uh, missile launching system on it as well. So one of the great things about the M113 was the ramp. You can get out very quickly. Uh, the 432 did not have a ramp. It's got a very large door. Uh, so you can open up the door, you can get out relatively quickly. Um, and this is the inside. You can see the people, are, the soldiers are still facing inside, inwards, and they can get out. However, with the full kit and uh, webbing, etc., I don't see it being as quickly to evacuate as the uh, M113. Again, the engine, of course, because the driver's on the right, the engine is on the left in this vehicle. And as I said, we're restoring this vehicle at the moment, so it is not the best condition at this moment in time. <sighs> Speaking of the 432 and the M113, just a quick look at how comfortable it is for infantry in the BMP. BMP was an infantry fighting vehicle. Um, infantry were, were fighting from inside the vehicle as it moves. You actually have on the inside a, uh, an ability to fire out. You have little um, episcopes to look out to the side. Uh, you have uh, an area to evacuate gases from your breech. Uh, and it is wonderful looking. Uh, however, if you ever have to get out of this vehicle, um, just think about sliding along that narrow bench through this door to get out of this vehicle in any hurry. Or if you want, you can pop open the top hatches and jump out that way. Again, you're exposed to a lot more fire. But this is an infantry fighting vehicle, similar to what became the Bradley, uh, the Warrior for the British. Um, so it was revolutionary as a different vehicle. It's not, it's not simply an infantry personnel carrier. Um, still wouldn't want to get out of this vehicle in a hurry. Oh, the fuel tanks? <laughs> yeah, fuel tanks are in the rear doors. Uh, it is diesel, so it has a very high flash point. It doesn't tend to blow up too often. It just doesn't feel good, for me at least. Thank you.